Hello everyone, I'm back with a new topic. The role of travel trade fairs in tourism promotion, part one. In the era of mass tourism, many third world countries have adopted an export-led model to development. For most of these countries, which is not have access to various markets for their manufacturers, tourism becomes an on option. Tourism development therefore strategies replicate the format for sourcing markets for the traditional export of these countries and the trade fairs or event marketing becomes the typical methods of promoting one's goods and services. Critics have pointed out that such an approach has re reduced tourism to a product. An illustration of this aspect is the demand for western facilities in Asian countries. Is such an approach demand valid or when we transfer a conceptual strategy from one sector of the economy to another we must assess if such a transfer is both conceptually and practically valid tourism is a complex experience and lifestyle representation it is in this context that an attempt has been made in this unit to understand the role of travel fairs and travel marts and critics that their role in developing a market for new destinations. Besides, this critic, this unit also familiarize you with the role of travel marts and festivals in tourism marketing. Trade fairs and travel marts. Even a healthy tourism destination is not free for free of problems, which is generated not only in the origin markets but also in the manner in which the travel trade finds short-term solution to its own problems. For example, Air India offers groups of women travelers a significant discount to Singapore and Hong Kong and this generates the demand for special facilities for women travelers from India. Although Air India's discount was operable in the lean season it creates a new trend. The trade fairs are therefore means by which the practitioners of a particular sector can meet at a railing point and watch the functioning of their peers, leaders in the sector and their competitors. Regulate such a vast and definition, definition alley bully product like tourism and encourage and develop the entrepreneurial freedom. A travel mart is a place where the producers, sellers and buyers of tourism product and services meet face to face to interact business. It also showcases the tourism product of a country or a region whilst also focusing on the concerns of the different sectors of the industry like the issues of tariffs, commissions, clearances for investments and tax incentives etc. Trade fair or a travel mart is the combined effort of the seller, the buyer and the state to ensure that the tourism prospers and releases the benefit that are possible. In India, a membership of the Pacific Area Travel Association introduced us to the concept of a travel mart when Pata conferences were, were held in different locations and countries of the region. The country in which the conference was located was showcased for the delegates from the rest of the world and a particular destination was selected because there was a need to focus on the problems and the solutions required to make the destination play its role in the field of tourism in the region. A trade fair or travel mart also becomes possible when travel agents and tour operators begin to form trade and professional associations which they can lobby for the particular demands of the sector concerned. The major focus of the trade fair or the travel mart is to give and to seek information to promote tourism both to and from the region, country or a group of destinations. Thus. Such events attracts not only the professionals but the public at large.
these events are professionally planned and organized taking into account the infrastructure operations and business transactions for example the sellers buy space in advance the appointments are pre-booked and the schedules are set for the participating organizations etc during the face to face interaction various business transactions takes place for example the tools are sold the commissions are decided the volume of business is discussed and decided the producers know the intermediary's requirement the travel industry is very keen on participating in these trade fairs since they get an opportunity to have their marketing efforts subsidized by the government the government is a big player in the area of tourism policy an important part of which is to promote foreign investment in the tourism sector understanding the competitors products regarding their strength and weaknesses is also one of the purposes in india a recent development is the holding of travel marts for encouraging domestic tourism the state tourism departments and tourism development corporations indian railways domestic tour operators etc dominate the participation in them the association of domestic tour operators of india has on its agenda giving encouragement to the holding of such domestic travel marts the critics as a critic it has been pointed out that many industry representative go completely unprepared for the commercial possibilities of a trade fair this is because they are much more adept at handling the agents rather than as promoters of the products which are generally designed by the foreign tour operators to cater to the image of the destination secondly the politician bureaucratic industry nexus ensures that it is not necessarily the most competent persons who is delegated to attend the fair since foreign travel as one somebody's else's expense is an attraction for most thirdly the government treats the buyer at the fair as a subordinate and is unable to see the attendance at the fair as a commercial possibilities the trade association like iota attempts 40 block space for exhibiting the india tourism product but the response to their efforts is limited by the cost of promotion both through the print media and audio visual techniques visitors to the fair often find indian stalls unmanned and the information format unintelligible this in fact is a critic of the way trade fairs and travel marts are looked upon a new feature of the trade fair is the emergence of activities responding to the fears that present day tourism development has created with regards to the environment women and children's culture and land use in tourism pro- projects they are protesting at the globalization of identity which pata has recognized as the most critical issue at its 45th annual conference held in thailand in 1996 many in the industry feel that the trade fairs have become events that you must be seen at and not much business is transacted the fact that a larger number of indians travel out of india for international tourism shows that trade fairs are benefiting other destination in preference to home destinations areas in which trade fairs are weak include the burning issues 
in the industry like credibility of standards use of technology and human resource development they don't however develop methods for the exchange of staff and business by liberalizing contract and service conditions but primarily for the developed destinations